Hi and welcome to another Python tutorial of working with a canvas. Now, this is the one I created earlier. I just want to show, show it to you guys so that you see how it works. Here, I've added different types of images or is the same images anyway. Okay, and one good thing about this tutorial is you can just hit on delete and you can start deleting the images. I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. That's me pressing the images or pressing the delete button. Now I have the on screen keyboard. So I'm going to add one or two more images. And all we just need to do is when you click on delete, that's delete there. Look at what's happening. There we go, all gone. And I can add as many as I can. That is still working on the canvas. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Python development environment. We create one canvas and show you guys how to add this type of images or whatever kind of images you guys may want to it. So let's do that now, guys. Close that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import as follows. So from tick enter, let's import it all. And I'm going to enter as follows. That's my app. And here I have a variable that declared that I want a space right here for this title here. You see the title up here? I want it dead centered. And that is the title that I want centered. Okay, and this is the definition for the size of my screen and here that is my logo. So my logo will actually replace this Python logo. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to say root dot main and loop. And I'm, I'm going to save this. So let's save this project first. File. Save as. So I'm going to call it something to do with click. So let's just call it image click. Something like that. Pi underscore image click. There. And I'm going to save that. There we go. If I run this now, nothing will happen apart from a, just a huge screen and that will be all. There we go. That's it. And so look at my logo right there. And right here, that is the title that you guys are looking at here display various app in there but we, instead of an app we change that to images display various images right that's fine now the first thing i want to do is i'm going to now create my canvas so the canvas i'm going to be using the same width and height so but, but first thing first let's just create this canvas i'm going to say add images that's the name of my canvas because i intend to add an image to it so let's say canvas and this very canvas is going to be right inside root comma let's define the width the width is going to be the same so let's say the width is yeah i'm going to make that 1350 and the height i'm going to make that about 800 as well so that that will fill up the screen and there we go so comma again then i'm going to specify the the back color i think i can always leave that as because the default color should be white anyway so i'm going to just just enter that anyway then and next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to run that up by saying image add image dot pack and that's it my canvas is there you guys might not be able to see it so if i run it this is what you guys will see just the same white screen that is it because I said my canvas I want it to be white but if I come in here and let's assume we change the color to something like cadet blue right so run and that's what you guys are going to see right now look at it it's going to be cadet blue so that is my canvas there now the next thing I want to do is I want to come back in here now and Let's enter a variable, a global variable in there, and I'm going to say the value is zero. Okay. If the value is zero, so let's 
create a function I'm gonna call this function click that's my click event there and inside this very function what I want to do is I'm, first of all I'm gonna declare a global variable so let's say global and I'm gonna make that yeah I'll just call it add image okay my global variable that is called add image comma and I'm gonna enter number as another global variable then I'm going to now specify x and y axis for the event equals open a bracket and the very first event dot x that's my very first event close that comma and the second event dot y that's my second event so I have two events in there now I'm going to call this very odd image so I'm going to say dot tab adding a method for you to carry out an event so let's open up an array so the array is going to be in number and another array that will be for the image there we go and this very image array that is going to be where my image is going to be so I'm going to say picture image That is like the widget for the image is going to be file equals I'm going to call that picture 15 dot PNG yeah that's the name of the image that I intend to use picture 15 dot PNG is uh, I've used this in one of my previous tutorial for who wants to be a millionaire so that's what I want then the next one I'm going to say is image add image dot I want you to now create an image that is the method that I'm going to use for canvas is going to be dot create that is the method an image then I'm going to call the x and y that I declared up there comma and I will now add my image and the image I'm adding is the add image tab this very one okay let's grab all of this copy and just paste it in there equals all of that there and let's close that so we have our image in the play in in the house so the next thing we just need to do is we need to increment the image by one there now one other thing we need to do now is that we add the images you see this simple line of code I wrote in here if I call it here that we add the images and I can prove that to you guys let me let first thing first let's grab this copy add image or tab and just paste it right there and I'm going to then say equals the amount of images that I want I'm going to put them inside a coil braces now that is a square braces and these are coil braces this is an array an array of how many images that I would like you to generate so let's assume I'm going to ask the image to be let's say Q yeah Q in it's going to be in the range of about let's go for maybe about 100 that might be too much but that's okay now the next thing is I'm going to ask ID image to get focus because if it doesn't focus when you click nothing will happen so let's say dot focus underscore set and enter parentheses now for this to be able to now bind the image on board we're going to say ID image dot bind and what are we binding is going to be based on the button and minus one close that close that comma and it's going to I will now call the event which is click events close that there so if we try this out let, let's try it out before we continue with the other method let's run it and see what's gonna happen now 
there we go if i click on here look at that i'm able to paste my images anywhere i want anywhere i choose okay guys i'm gonna end that end okay now let's create another function the second function i'm going to call that delete image so let's say delete yeah delete image yeah that's all right delete image there we go that's the second function and i'm going to be calling that very function here so let's delete image and this is what i want delete image to do delete image we also inherit this variable here so it's going to be global as well just paste that underneath here and after that after that what i want you to then do is this image add image dot tab and that's instead of plus that would be number minus one okay, close that array off and say equals empty the query braces and here instead of adding this i'm going to add number minus one so come right down here paste that in there that becomes minus so now i need to call it here come right down here and i will now call my function that is called delete image copy that very function and come right here paste that function there now we have a function in python which is called delete is a reserved word in function so i'm going in python so i'm going to enter that in there that is it delete and that's all there is to it so i should be able to add and also delete okay okay let's run it and see now run and there we are able to add as many images as we want and at the same time all i just need to do is click on delete the delete button and there we go okay i'm not going to add more images and let's use the virtual keyboard so where is that that there it is okay let's add more of those and now click on my delete button and virtual keyboard look at that guys you see that that's beautiful and that is how you create your own canvas where you whereby you can add images and also delete the images using your delete button and so on so let me show you guys the codes again it's very interesting tutorial i like it so you guys can just have a good look at it move this up and let's run the program run again there we go guys look at that so with that i'm going to call it the end of this program i suppose you guys enjoy it you all have a nice day now bye for now